This video will show you which steps to take when repairing the AC system of a car. First, to confirm the customer's complaint, you start by manually examining the AC system. Simply using the touch and feel method can give you a good first impression. Then, for our next steps, make sure you have the right tools, equipment and compressor oil ready. There are three Denso oil types available. ND Oil 8 and ND Oil 12 are used for mechanical driven compressors, such as piston, sliding vane and scroll type. The ND Oil 11 is used for electric driven scroll compressors. Continue on by checking the vehicle for diagnostic trouble codes and live data. Then check the pressures. And in case of an external controlled variable displacement type compressor, use a PWM signal generator to control the compressor manually. When the AC compressor needs replacement, check if it can be rotated by hand before removing it from the car. If the compressor is locked, it usually indicates a lack of lubrication, which will result in metal debris in the AC system. Remove the compressor from the car to perform a visual inspection. Check the suction and discharge ports. These will give you a clear understanding of the condition of the compressor. Drain the oil and check the color, the amount and the oil type and write down your results. Once these steps are done, the visual inspection is finished, allowing you to determine the necessary procedure using the compressor installation guide. Now let's take a look at different conditions leading up to a specific repair procedure. If the AC system is clean, the correct type of oil is inside the cycle, the correct amount of UV dye is used, and there are no other additives inside the system, then flushing with refrigerant is not required, and you can continue on by following repair procedure one. Since in this case, you have to balance the oil of the compressor, please check out the oil balancing video. When the compressor does not have an oil drain plug, if incorrect oil is found, or the system contains too much oil, if the rubber gasket of the discharge port is swollen due to the use of additives, but the refrigerant cycle is otherwise clean, then flushing with refrigerant is required, and you can continue by following repair procedure two. If you happen to find metal particles or leak stop in the refrigerant cycle, flushing with refrigerant is not possible. You therefore have to follow repair procedure three. By following one of these repair procedures, you can successfully repair the AC system of a car. For all procedures, check our AC compressor installation guide in the download area of our website.